Hi, and welcome to the Schoology Parent Refresher course. In this course, you're going to be able to see what parents see and how you can change the view and look between the different students that you may have. We're also going to take a look at the different variations between Hall Prairie Intermediate, Junior High, and High School. We'll also look at a student screen so you can see what your child sees as well. First thing, let's talk about what Schoology is. Schoology is a learning management system. It's a great platform for teachers to organize their class activities, their resources, online tests and quizzes, discussions. They can also post videos or links that, uh, and class notes so that their, your child can go back and review those things over and over. It's also great for communicating classroom activities and school activities to parents and guardians, and it's a great way for school groups to connect, such as athletic teams, clubs, or other organizations. What Schoology is not. It's not a place to view the overall grades, or a current GPA, or a place to view historical grades, or a place to view schedules. The best place to view all of these things is in PowerSchool. In order to begin using Schoology, you'll need to go to lms.parisburgschools.net. You can also find this address on the Perrysburg Schools website under the Parents tab, Schoology. Let's go ahead and log in. When you log in, you'll notice up here next to the drop-down arrow that you will see a child's name. Um, that means that you were looking at it from the uh, in the child's view of their course or of their Schoology page. So let's take a look. This happens to be a high school student. I'll show you examples from the junior high student and a child that is at Hall Prairie Intermediate as well. The first thing is going to be common to um, all accounts. You'll see a menu over here on the left. You'll see one across the top. You'll see an activity in the middle, an activity feed that I'll show you. There are two different ways to look at it. You'll see over here on the right hand side, recent grades, overdue notices, and anything that is upcoming. Let's start over here on the left. The first thing you can do is if you click on grades, you'll see the different sections that are listed. If I click on the algebra, you'll see all the assignments and their grades and what category that they are being routed into, whether it's tests and quizzes, skills check, etc. If I wanted to see one of these in particular, I could click on the assignment it will take me to the assignment. I can see the grade. If the teacher had put in any directions or there were any comments, you would see those here as well. I'll hit home to go back. So that was grades. The next one is calendar. If I click on calendar, you'll see that these are, if I scroll down here to the bottom, there is a key at the bottom. So these are all from courses, things that have been posted into the courses. Again, if I were to click on, it would take me to the course. It would tell me to give me a description, and it might also tell me um, anything else about um, the assignment, such as the max points. So this is an extra credit assignment. If I clicked on view assignment, that would take me back into the course, and I could view it from there. Students also have the ability to post their own things to this calendar, much like an assignment notebook used to be. So you can see if it was blue, it would be something that the child has put onto their calendar. The school might also post some things that are school-wide, and if your child is involved in any groups, it would show up as green. Things such as practice times or uh, gatherings for a club. Messages. These would be messages that would be either sent or received from someone within Perrysburg Schools, most likely a teacher. And click the Home button to go back. 
The other thing that you can do here in the center, uh, there's a couple of things. First of all is the courses and that these are the groups that your child is involved in. If I were to click on one of the groups, it would take me to a similar thing and I can see all the things that are being done uh, in this group. Back to home. By clicking on student activities, I'll also see all of those things that have been posted to Perrysburg High School. These are updates that apply to uh, all students at the school as well as, if I go down here to the bottom, this is a post just for uh, those students in this American History section. So they can be both just from courses and something that applies to all the students that are there at the high school. And you go over here to the right and see recent grades. Just notice that there's a one here by graded assignments. That means since the last time you checked, there is a new assignment that has been graded. So if I click here, I can see all of the assignments that have been uh, posted. And if I wanted to, I can click right here on this one and it will take me to the assignment. It'll tell me the grade. So that was the most recent one. Go back. I can do the same thing for graded tests and quizzes or graded discussions. If I go into graded tests and quizzes, if it's an online test or quiz, such as this one, I can also view the assessment. So I can see the quiz that was given, I can read the questions, and I can see what answer my child chose. Hit the home button to go back. The next section is overdue notices. Uh, you could have a couple of reasons why uh, something may show up here. One, if the, if the teacher creates an assignment with a due date, and if it's on paper pencil, sometimes the, the teacher doesn't go in and put a grade in right away, or they forget to go in and put a placeholder grade until they can get them all graded. It's always best to check with your child's teacher if you suspect that they didn't hand something in. Upcoming. These are all the things that are coming up in the next week or next couple of weeks. And again, all of these things, all of the upcoming, was viewed, you can also view on the calendar. Click home to go back. I can also view all my courses here. I can also view all my groups from the menus at the top. Notice that I can also I also have a down um, a pull down menu or drop down menu where I can change students here. I can also change students over here. So I'm going to show you an example now of a junior high and what this looks like. Um, again, same thing here. Student activities in the middle, enrollments. I can see what classes. I can also see the groups. Same thing over here with grades and calendar recent grades, upcoming. Now I do want to show you something a little bit different that junior high does. If I go to the calendar view, you'll notice that um, there are things posted for this day, which is today. If I were to click on one of these, every teacher at the junior high will put in there what, uh, what they did in class, what their assignments are, and anything that's upcoming. They'll do that for each day. So if I were to go back, you'll see that this is filled in for every day. Those same things show up over here. So if I wanted to see uh, this, just, just so you understand, this is uh, a, a calendar event that's been created. This is where you would see all of those, uh, the homework. This is actually an assignment that has been created and it was due today. So, but you, sh you would have seen that um, in, the China, in a previous event that was posted for homework. Let's see, there's a quiz coming up. So it keeps you pretty well updated. Again, you'll notice that there are numbers up here showing the number of assignments since um, I last checked this. Now let's take a look at one more example and that would be at 
Hall Prairie. So you can see here at Hall Prairie again they have all of their um, assignments. You can see there's a couple of groups down here. Um, the way they do it at Hall Prairie it's a combination of teacher posting things and the, the student also being able to post things on their own calendar. So it all works very similarly. So you can change between your students Okay, just remember that the name of the student that is here, the name of the child, is who you're actually looking at. Okay, and again, I can look at the student activity, and this will be all Hall Prairie things that are posted. Now, I want to show you what it looks like from a student standpoint. So let's expand this a little bit. So this is actually a student. And you can see it looks very similar to what uh, you were seeing on the parent side. They do have one other thing here, which is called a course dashboard, which allows them to actually click through their classes a little bit quicker. So if I want to go to language arts, um, I can go right into it a little bit easier. It'll tell me here uh, what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I, this is a junior high uh, example. If I wanted to see grades in here, again, I could do the same thing so I can see uh, what I'm doing with that. I click home as a student. Um, I wanted to show you the calendar. So if I go here to the calendar, I have the ability that I can create my own events and decide um, exactly what kind of event it is. So if I were to put something on here, I could put it on here for this event, hit create, and you might see here it comes up, it says personal event, remember to study. So that's how that would work. Hit home. If I wanted to see what my groups, I can go to the junior high library resources where uh, Ms. Frank has posted lots of different things in here. Really good resources. So that's a, that's a great thing to do. Some coaches are starting to do this as well. Um, let me hit home. And that is what it looks like from the student view of this. The last thing I'd like to show you is how you can customize the notifications and some of your settings on Schoology. The first thing you need to know is that a parent email digest gets sent out weekly on Fridays at 5 p.m. that shows the summaries of your child's activity. But there are some ways to customize other things in your settings. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do that. Go to the down facing arrow next to your name, click on that, and then click on where it says notifications. Once you get to notifications, you're, you'll see that there are academic, group, school, different settings you can do. But you can turn them on or off just by clicking on the drop-down menu and saying on or off. In addition to those, is you can also send yourself or have text notifications sent to you. All you do is you put in your cell phone number, pick your carrier, and then set mobile. And what will happen is you'll get another uh, column of on-off switches for your text. So you may want to get some by email and some by text. Once you're all done, you just hit Save Changes.